In terms of pizza making, I know I'm gonna upset a lot of people when I say this, but I gotta be- New York, Chicago, which city wins the pizza crowd? What's good, YouTube? I'm Louis Gusto, the most handsome pizza reviewer on the internet. And today, we have something special for you. We're gonna be eating some New York pizza, and we're gonna be eating some Chicago pizza all in the same video. This has never been done before on YouTube. We're gonna let each pie shine in its home arena. We're going to the best of the best pizzerias in both New York and Chicago, and at the end, using only the most specialized of judging techniques, we're gonna pick a winner. Will it be the Windy City or the Big Apple? Times Square or Navy Pier? Deep Dish or the New York Slice? And if you love pizza as much as we do, make sure you finesse that like button. First pizzeria up is John's Pizzeria. It's on Bleecker in Greenwich Village. They're known for their coal fire pizza. Whether we're in New York or Chicago, it's always a pizza party. This is gonna be a very traditional New York style pizza. They've been around since 1929. Got a large John's original today. So that's just mozzarella, tomato sauce on a beautiful coal fire pizza. Now they're one of the only spots where you can get a true coal fire pizza in New York City. I do remember growing up in South Florida, unfortunately we were subject to a lot of chain pizza, but there were a couple local spots here and there. Their new chain emerged in South Florida called Anthony's Coal Fire Pizza, really inspired by that New York pizza. I remember they had photos of Mickey Mantle and Frank Sinatra and Babe Ruth and all types of New York celebrities on the walls. But this is the real deal here in Manhattan. We recently did a tavern style pizza tour of Chicago, but we ate all the pizza in one day, so we ordered smalls. With the way we're filming this New York versus Chicago pizza tour, we're doing it on separate nights so we can order a large pie, so we can really, really sink our teeth into it, so to speak. All right, I'm gonna do the whole New York thing and fold it up. That's fine, guys. Don't roast me in the comments. But look at that beautiful slice. The bottom looks coldly cold, cold. And super saucy. Let's go, baby. There was no wait because it is a weeknight and it's kind of late, so we got seated right away. They put us in this really cool booth toward the front, so we have a window to Greenwich Village. We weren't 100% sure what we should order, but we figured, hey, this is our first time at John's. Let's just go with the classic. This is 401k. Legit. I went to Gainesville for college, go Gators. And there's actually a legit pizza scene in Gainesville. Places like Five Star, Leonardo's. But of course, you know, growing up as a part-time Chicagoan, I always got my tavern style. I didn't really grow up eating this New York style like this, so it's nice to discover it as an adult. Every bite of this pizza brings a cheese pull. That's super epic. I don't want to overstate it, nor do I want to oversimplify it, but this is a really perfectly done pizza. When you go to an institution like John's Oblique, there's always that worry. Is it overhyped? Have they lost a step? I can tell you with confidence, this pizza is extraordinary. Which slice to take? I have an entire pie. All right. <laughs> I saw those stars in Lewis's eyes again. I love me a cheesy, saucy pizza. I saw the cheese pulls every single time Lewis took a bite. Here we go. Mm. When I grow up, I want to be this pizza. Pizza can sound simple because it's bread, it's cheese, it's sauce. But like the way that they do it, the care that they put into it, that's what makes the difference. Throw some red pepper flakes on this slice and go for another one. Actually, I had one off camera because I didn't want the pressure of the bright lights. Yeah, we've been having so much pizza on this channel and this is the first time that we're doing the New York versus Chicago in one video. We did a New York style pizza tour of Chicago, but we had to be on each pizza's home turf for it to really, really come through like a Steven Spielberg production. Bar. One of our newfound perks of living in New York City is that we can come on a weeknight when it's not super busy. This is like the ninth or 10th pizza tour that we're doing on the channel. We're gonna keep on doing them. Because pizza is the absolute truth. So that was John's of Bleecker, that beautiful coal-fired pie. We're gonna go ahead and put John's of Bleecker in the number one bracket position. For our 
first Chicago pizzeria stop, we're at Pat's Pizza and Ristorante in Lincoln Park. This spot's been open since about the 1950s and it's one of my favorite spots to get traditional Chicago style pizza. That might get you thinking, wait a second, Louis, I thought deep dish was traditional Chicago style. Well, I'm sorry to say, but you're wrong. This thin crust tavern style pizza is what most Chicagoans eat. This is pretty universal from the north side to the west side to the south side. And basically the way you want to order it is you want to get the special. So this is Pat's Pizzeria, get the Pat's special. That's onions, green peppers, mushrooms, and Italian sausage. Now, we did an entire tavern style pizza tour of Chicago. It's tough to eat that much food in one day. We make it look easy, but that's just that Hollywood movie magic. I'm gonna take a bite while it's piping hot. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm, cool. Another one. So what's special about the Chicago style tavern pizza is that the crust is extremely thin and crispy. Some people call it like a cracker thin crust. Not a lot of sauce, just the right balance of sauce. Not too sweet, not too tangy. When I was growing up, this was what my family ordered whenever we got pizza in Chicago. But it was always onions, green peppers, and Italian sausage. It was only later in life that I discovered that it actually comes with mushrooms. So that whole time, my family members must have been on the phone like, yeah, I'll get the special, hold the mushrooms. I actually kind of like them. Mm, that Italian sausage is majestic. The cheese sauce toppings go all the way to the edge. You got corner slices, you got edge pieces, you got your center slices, which for me, the center slice is the best. There's nothing wasted. <laughs> Usually when I eat New York style pizza, I'm kind of leaving that crust off to the side, uh, but I don't have to do that with tablet style. Now, Lewis ate his slice of pizza without any extra toppings, but I have been eyeing the oregano and red pepper flakes. So let's get some of that on this slice of pizza. Unlike Lewis, who likes the middle pieces of the pizza, I like the edge. Get a little bit more of the crispiness. Well, that is an extraordinary slice of pizza. To go along with our tavern style pizza, we got some Revolution Rev Pills. I know Teddy would be proud. Got the thrills for the pills. It goes so well with pizza. You got edge pieces, you got corner pieces that are the crispiest. It's just, it's beautiful. Look, I mean, these are super, super thin. I, that's how you know you got a good one. Now, I get it, if you're coming to Chicago, you're gonna wanna try the deep dish pizza. That's fine, we got nothing against that. In fact, we got plenty of recommendations on the channel and we do enjoy it from time to time. But when it's time to get pizza and we're in the Windy City, this is who we're calling. Mm. It's so important that these toppings are distributed evenly and a Chicago style pizza doesn't have too much sauce. That's a key as well. Sometimes you get a New York style pizza and it's more sauce than cheese. Not that I'd mind it if the sauce is good, but that's just how this type of pizza is made. With too much sauce, this would not retain the same crispiness. And one thing I do have to say that New York really has over Chicago is that you can walk just a few blocks from wherever you're staying and get a slice of pizza. In Chicago, it's a little bit tougher. If I want just like a couple slices of tavern style pizza, unfortunately, it's not really a thing here. That kind of sucks. Now there are places that specialize in New York style by the slice, but it's just not the same. But bro, can you imagine one day I'm gonna open a pizzeria, Gusto's Pizzeria, in the loop, and you're gonna be able to walk in any time of day and grab you two, three slices of tavern style pizza, nice and crispy with that good Italian sausage. I can see it now. One thing I've noticed when we eat New York style pizza is Lewis can polish off maybe three to four slices. But then when we eat tavern style pizza, that number jumps. The crispiness of this pizza is so memorable. It's just an unforgettable crispy experience. My whole life, I've loved these centerpieces of tavern style pizza and so I would, all, I would always ignore the edge and the corners and I would just go for these. It made me a picky little kid, but from an early age, I just knew what I liked. 
I love the thinness of this, a lot of cheese. It's a great blend of flavors from the different toppings and the sausage. And there are a lot of pizzerias in Chicago where you can get this style of pizza. Sadly, that number is growing less and less with each passing year. We did find some great spots that are kind of elevating it. This is more traditional, but we went to like Side Street Saloon and Middlebrow. Those places are just taking that old recipe and bringing it into 2023. And I really, really love that. But you know, just sometimes you want traditional and that's what we have today. It's kind of like putting on that old football jersey from high school. It just fits, it's comfortable, you fall asleep in it kind of how I feel about this pizza. I could fall asleep just like that. Wake up and I got delicious pizza right here, ready to go. Mm. Even as this pizza cools, it stays crispy and that's something that we really, really love. Sometimes you order a pizza and once it cools down, it's like chewing a piece of bubble gum. Not this one. I know this is a pizza video, but since we're at a ristorante, we also wanted to try an Italian appetizer. So we ordered the fried calamari, nice lemon wedges and a beautiful homemade, I think it's homemade, but it's cocktail sauce on the side. It's one of the most popular appetizers. You know what the deal is. It's, it's, this is such a good, I've been eating this since I was a teenager. Mm -mm. Super thin crust. Lots of cheese, just like in California. Tavern style pizza is definitely more filling. It was even leg day today, and we still have half a pizza to bring home to Rowdy. Look, I know I'm not your typical travel creator on YouTube. I was born in Chicago, raised in Miami, moved back to Chicago, now living in New York City, second generation Latino. I work out every day. I read about famous, important people from throughout history. I listen to stand-up comedy in the shower. But I'm trying to do something different here. I'm trying to be a little bit of a different flavor here on YouTube, so make sure you subscribe. That was Pat's Pizzeria, the Pat's Special, mushroom, green peppers, onions, and of course, lots of cheesy cheese. Pat's Pizza gets a five star rating. Getting a table at Lucali is kind of like getting into SNL when Steve Martin is the host. Very difficult. <laughs> we had to jump through several hoops, but it's all worth it for the pizza to bring it to you in Gusto Nation. They are making these pies right behind me. My mouth is watering as I talk about it. <laughs> Today we got the pie, one size only. Comes with basil. You can also add toppings. There are shallots, pepperoni, onion, hot pepper, sweet pepper, mushroom. We went with garlic. Looks so good. And uh, I gotta serve myself and Narissa. Look at that cheese pool. Oh my, gentle. In the name of the Godfather, the Son, and the Holy Pizza, let's take our bite of Lucali's. No thesaurus needed tonight. This is an out of this world pizza. What's the right way to hold this? Do you fold this one? <laughs> it's just that good. <laughs> A lot of fresh basil here. They're all about the farm fresh, locally sourced ingredients. I got here maybe like an hour or so before they opened up and I met a dude from Michigan who was super cool. He was here for a couple of days and he's trying all the pizza places around New York as well. Pizza just brings people together. It's a tight knit community. I don't care if the pizza's from Chicago, from New York or Saskatchewan. So we're still awaiting our calzone. We're hoping that this whole YouTube shenanigan gets us a special invite to come to Lucali, film the whole process. There's a baby crying. That's how good this pizza is. The baby's like, oh my God, I will never have another pizza as good as the one I'm having tonight. Think about it. Everything about this place is super authentic from the decor, the pressed tin ceiling, the sauce jars that are labeled Lucali. They're making the pizzas out in the open in front of everybody, popping them in the oven. It's like a whole ceremony going on. And it's all for the love of this pizza. We got dough, we make cheese, we hit the sauce, but today no meat, because it's a pizza party. Shout out to my boy Disco. Mm -hmm. 
Somebody call Ben Wyatt because we are now in the cow zone zone. They have small and large. Believe it or not, this is actually a small calzone. And we added pepperoni. I got a long history with calzones. Uh, ben Wyatt wasn't alone. I always thought that they were dogging him too much on Parks and Rec. Calzones are amazing, especially when you're a kid, right? It's like, that's why we loved Hot Pockets so much and anything that was like takeable, you know, like a Cornish pasty, but in pizza version. And they might be related, the Cornish pasty and the Italian calzone. They got a sauce on the side, AKA sauce. I'm gonna drizzle some of this on there. Oh, my lovely. Wow. I mean, doing all the research for this place, which we gotta constantly do, everybody kept saying, you have to get the calzone as well as the pizza. So, who are we to judge? It's very hot, though. That's messy, but oh, so delicious. <laughs> I can't even hold the camera now. Pizza crust, so I could dip it in this beautiful sauce. It's got a side of cheese, too. And it is BYOB. We didn't bring wine today because it's a school night, but best believe next time we're gonna be doing it big, bringing some friends, you know, maybe celebrate three million subscribers over here. I'm gonna get back to this cow zone. It's getting lonely without me. You can't just stumble upon it. There aren't any markings on the windows, no big sign that says Lucali's is here. It's like a pizza speakeasy. That was a dining experience unlike anything I've had in my entire life. And you may be thinking, why go through all that just for a circle of dough with some tomato sauce and a little bit of cheese? Well, that's the thing about pizza. It's, it's more than just a food. It is truly a way of life. That was Lucali of Brooklyn. It was a long wait, but that pizza was sure worth it. We're gonna call Lucali the heavyweight champion of pizza. In addition to tavern style pizza, Chicago is world famous for deep dish pizza. Now, believe it or not, my fellow pizza fanatics, there are multiple types of deep dish pizza. You've got the Chicago style deep dish pizza made famous by Lou Malnati's and Paisano's. You've also got the Chicago pan deep dish pizza. Today, we're at Millie's Pizza in the Pan. This is the custom untitled pizza. Robert made it up special for us today. We've got pepperoni, we've got mozzarella cheese, we got ricotta cheese, we've got pepper do peppers, jalapenos, sweet peppers. Of course, that beautiful sauce and Edso pepperoni. He started this as a ghost kitchen in Logan Square, but since that day has gone on to win Best New Restaurant by the Chicago Tribune, Thrillist, Time Out, and Infatuation. He was also recently a participant in Good Morning America's United States of Pizza competition. I could continue to list all the accolades, but if I did that, the pizza would start to get cold, and you know, that's a big no-no where we come from. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my first slice. As usual, this looks beautiful, so thick, Chicago style. Look at that, we got the caramelized mozzarella. Oh wow, I'm gonna dive right in. Bon Appetit. Yay! Ever since we filmed our Uptown Neighborhood Guide, I have been looking forward to trying this pie once again. It's truly a masterpiece pizza, and it kind of inspires my personal philosophy on pizza. The East created it, the Midwest decorated it. when it comes to Chicago deep dish pizza, there are a lot of haters out there. Pizza purists, they like to call themselves, who try to say that deep dish isn't pizza. If you try to say something like that, you've clearly not tried enough pizza in your life. Why would you shut yourself out to all the possibilities when it comes to pizza? You could get it in a square, you could get it deep dish, you can get it thin crust, you can get it with just cheese, you can get no sauce. There are six million ways to get pizza. Choose one every day. This pizza is T-H-I-C-C. -C. Picking up a slice of this feels like hitting the jackpot. This is what you call a slice of pizza. Typically, you see me eating deep dish pizza with a knife and a fork. This one's holding up so well, but I can just hold it like this. I'm not gonna try any airplane moves with this one, though. <laughs> This is so good, I would just get these crusts with a dipping sauce 
Oh, that would be phenomenal. Great snack after the gym. Nice pick me up in the morning with a cup of coffee. When we put our itinerary together for New York versus Chicago pizza, we wanted to make sure that we represented as wide of a field as possible. And we had to do our favorite deep dish in the city, which is Millie's. This is the one that we recommend to all of our friends, any New Yorkers that we know that are coming to visit Chicago and they wanna know where should I go for deep dish. If you can't trust a Google review these days, who knows? It could be rival pizza makers hopping on there, leaving one star reviews, or people who are just having a bad day and don't really know their food. So you could trust us because we only go to the finest pizzerias. So keep it locked because I'm gonna pick a winner after I finish up this pie. All right, that was Millie's Pizza in the Pan, a spin on their flagship Untitled Pie, and the Academy Award goes to Millie's Pizza. The moment y'all been waiting on, it's time for me to pick the best pizza city in the world. New York versus Chicago, the Big Apple versus the Windy City, Sears Tower versus the Empire State Building, Central Park versus Lincoln Park, the Hudson, versus Lake Michigan, New Jersey versus Indiana, Washington Square Park versus Millennium Park, Phi Dye versus The Loop, Brooklyn versus Wicker Park, the subway versus the L train, pigeons versus other pigeons. In terms of pizza making, I know I'm gonna upset a lot of people when I say this, but I gotta be truthful to not only myself, but to y'all and Gusto Nation out there. I know you trust me, when it comes to pizza reviews, food reviews, and neighborhood guides. And so I can't steer you wrong. I can't sugarcoat it, so to speak. In terms of the best pizza city, NYC versus the Shy, New York City was originally known as New Amsterdam. It was a Dutch colony. Then it became an English colony before becoming part of the United States. There was the whole Revolutionary War. Pizza came over from Italy, and the first pizzerias started popping up in Manhattan. And it's because of that that I have to say, Chicago was founded in 1837. Pizza came a little bit later, still from Italians, but they kind of upped the ante. They started making it in different forms until Uno's made, some might say, the first deep dish pizza in history. And from there, it kind of has spread all over the world. You can go to Tokyo, Kenya, or Puerto Rico, and people know what a Chicago-style deep dish pizza is. And it's because of that that I have to say, Chicago is located in the Midwest. Other cities around it include Detroit, Milwaukee, St. Louis, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Iowa City. But even with that Midwest dominance that Chicago has over the pizza world, in New York, they just have a lot of pizzerias in different boroughs, from Queens to Brooklyn to Manhattan. Yeah, even Staten Island and the Bronx bring it in terms of pizza. You can't walk more than a few blocks without encountering an amazing pizza pie. And we're talking pizzerias that were founded in the 30s, 40s, 50s, sometimes even earlier than that. And brand new spots popping up all the time. I mean, we went to one in Williamsburg that had just opened up. <laughs> and I mean, when you take all that into consideration, you just, you can't deny the fact that New York City makes pizza and it's good pizza. It's, it's fun to eat. It's my favorite food. <sighs> but I mean, even with all that, I mean, Chicago is my home. I was born here. You know, I moved back as an adult just because I love it so much. And in terms of pizza, Chicago is definitely a place where you can get pizza in all forms. I mean, you can even get New York style pizza here. So because you can get in Chicago, Detroit style, Neapolitan, tavern style, deep dish, and a New York slice, it's because of all that, that when it comes to the king of pizza cities, it's definitely gotta be either Chicago or New York. I mean, one of those two cities definitely does it better. I mean, you may think I have some kind of bias because I'm from Chicago and I just moved to New York. Or those of you in New York may think that, well, he's moving to New York because the pizza is better. And I have to say that I agree with your right 
to have an opinion. I mean, we all do. Like that's part of our, you know, basic necessities as human beings. We have to formulate opinions, but we're not talking opinions here, right? Just facts. Facts are facts. Hashtag facts. And when it comes down to it, when you talk about putting together dough, sauce, cheese, and a variety of toppings, I mean, with toppings, you got pepperoni, you got Italian sausage, mushrooms, green pepper, garlic, basil, shallots. And New York City definitely, definitely is the clear winner when it comes to cities on the East Coast. I mean, you've got Boston, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia. And of all those cities, New York definitely has the biggest population. It's got the most variety in terms of people, restaurants, things to do. And even with all that, New York definitely cannot compete with itself, right? You can't pit a city versus each other. It, does, it doesn't make sense. So at the end of the day, when the cows come home, the bread is baked, the sun has set, the leaves have changed. In the end, the clear winner in terms of pizza is... 